imagination gallery thank you for joining i'm so happy to see you all here today now let's know today's topic today we will take our painting journey of world tour series to the country where there is the first folk architecture reservation of the world is there an amazing graffiti it's slovakia and if you are new to this unique painting session then definitely watch it till the end because there is always a story hidden behind every painting my lovely friends the week has started and that means it's time for another fabulous session with your favorite imagination gallery a new week and another new world tour series and this time we will do some graffiti painting of slovakia because you know uh, it's been such a long time i was really missing street art so much and although slovakia or the capital of slovakia bratislava being one of the smaller places uh, in europe but bratislava street art is very plentiful and can be easily located they brighten up most of the uh, dreary looking buildings and how can anything so colorful be considered nothing anything but as art so let's start together this journey friends street art is not something new in kosais uh, the other city of slovakia a local street art festival has been taking place since 2008 the driving force behind this this is the slovak art platform street art communication uh, sac this organization transformed dull gray apartment walls into colorful works of art the walls were always chosen in collaboration with the residents of the neighborhood First, 51% of the neighborhood had to agree. Then the platform started painting the wall. This was the open mural gallery. Gallery, a gallery consisting of 30 colossal paintings on the sides of apartment blocks. It is the largest exhibition of murals in Slovakia. This time, the dull central heating stations of apartment blocks were the canvas, and they got a colorful makeover. Bratislava is the capital of Slovakia and a very small city in Europe. There is a little over 4 lakh living there. The city is covered in street art that may be confused with graffiti, but the difference of is graffiti is meant to be destructive while street art is not. Bratislava adopted the street art festival in 2011. During the festival, talented street artists showcase their skills on buildings and trains for sure what these artists are doing is at their best and i am for sure believe that this is art and not vandalism at all they brighten up the most dreary looking buildings how can anything so colorful can not be accepted as an art of course it's an art roaming around the city and hoping that you will see some wall art along the way does not work street art tends to be a bit hidden also sometimes there more often you find it in the suburbs rather than in the center save yourself a lot of frustration and head straight to the best street art uh, and you have the addresses along with yourself graffiti is often objected to because they are used as a medium to communicate views of distant they are used to prop up difficult questions to governing bodies and express their political concerns it was considered an offense therefore previously the kind of street art in british lava is different more with childish innocence and wild imagination it kept propping up at every turn we took you know you, you can take soon uh, you can click the walls infused with the colorful light mm-hmm. 
No doubts there are a million better ways of releasing adrenaline rather than leaving ugly territorial marks. But graffiti is not about only vandalism and rebellion anymore now. It is a mean of creative artistic expression and political expression and start to be respected as a valid public art form. There are some legal zones there in Bratislava, uh, like for example Janikov Dvor in Petrozilka, uh, and there you can legally paint graffiti and street art. The interesting thing is, is that many of the places are like Metro Depot, abundant Metro Depot. And there are, you can find in Bratislava smaller and bigger graffitis also. And most of them are usually in the abundant places. It is quite likely that some of them have really already been removed. Friends, Slovakia is a landlocked country in Central Europe. This country mostly is mountainous uh, territory. The capital and largest city is Bratislava while the second largest city is Kuisets. Slovakia is proud of its rich folklore and folk tradition. Each region, city and municipality has a unique character and folklore, costumes, music, song, architecture, customs, traditions, dialects, etc. Folklore festivals organized all around Slovakia severe to present the folk customs of individual regions. Slovakia deeply rooted folk traditions are a significant source of national pride and identity. So much so that Slovakia often chooses traditional folk traditions to adorn the uniform of their athletes in international competitions too. So due to many possibilities of for outdoor recreation in Slovakia, many people are also very active and athletic. Spending weekends hiking, rock climbing, kayaking, or skiing. So, friends, if you are interested in visiting a country with a rich history, unique traditions, vibrant cities, historic architecture, and a wealth of opportunities for outdoor adventures, and of course, graffiti, budding graffiti murals. Slovakia may be the perfect destination for your next trip. With many magical castles, mountain peaks, soaring over 2000 meters and a tasty food, Slovakia offers an off-the-beaten track tourist experience that will both surprise and delight you. A real tourist paradise awaits you in another part of Slovakia too. So friends, our World 2 series will continue. We will continue to search these little happiness, joy, love and peace just to share with you all. If this be one family, let's color the life with Imagination Gallery.
hope you enjoyed today's adventurous painting journey to Slovakia street art. If you like our unique painting session, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Wishing you a very happy and successful week. Bye for now.